We are giving you another look at drone shots from Grand Haven. Uh, look at the big lake this morning. We saw what, like almost two dozen bass boats? <laughs> <laughs> we saw a lot of boats. Apparently there's a bass uh, fishing bass competition bass. happening in Muskegon, so they might be heading that way. <laughs> so maybe that's why they didn't want us on there. <laughs> they, they knew we wouldn't but be But even the help. yachts aren't stopping to yeah. give us a ride, Gosh, so man, come on. Uh, but yeah, a beautiful view this morning. We're so happy to be here. So happy to be celebrating 100 years of Coast Guard in Grand Haven. Yeah, and not all members of the Coast Guard being celebrated are actually human. Yeah, that's right. So walking along Escanaba Park across the street from where we're sitting right now, now, you'll actually see a memorial for a four-legged non-official member of the Coast Guard that was actually beloved along the lake shore. His name's Woody. Yeah. So the mixed breed dog was born on the dock for the Coast Guard cutter Woodbine. Uh, the crew actually took a liking to the little guy and for the next 16 years he served as the unofficial mascot. Yeah, he even made, uh, he even had rather, a handmade uniform and was even taken to the pound only to be bailed out with newspaper coverage of the event. So when he passed away in 1963 at the age of 16, wow, wow he was buried over in Escanaba Park, forever linking back to his memory there, the Coast Guard here in He's Grand Haven. He's a handsome guy too. I, you know, Woody. how come I didn't notice that when I was doing the Walk of History yeah, over yeah, in Escanaba to, maybe Park? Maybe you weren't looking good enough. We are so close to Escanaba Park, we should head on over after to, yeah, to check that out. Too. Pay our respects, yeah.